Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Today, we're looking at Rob Campbell's little Miata that could on the dyno. So Paul's here to kind of uh, smooth the transitions. No, I'm not. I'm not doing shit, dude. Oh, man, we're not even going to do shit to this car. So apparently I'm all we're going to do is Rob yeah, Campbell's going to tune it because he's the new in-house tuner Give me Sport Apprenticeship Sport. Program. There you go. So we're going to get this thing on the dyno. We're going to see how much horsepower it puts out. We're going to compare it to the power that my car put out. And then what changes are you going to make after the fact? I'm going to crash into your car on track. Sounds about right. Yeah, That'll probably make you go faster. I'm going to fix Combine my two motors. <laughs> All the You'll see. All You'll the see what I got in store for you. You're going to like it. Basically, just Rob measuring the size of his against Mark's. OK. Snow. Why are you looking at his pencil? <laughs> Jesus. So back to Miatas. Obviously, we both know and all of us know that they don't make any horsepower. But this is an interesting comparison because we have a stock 93 1.6 liter Miata. And then this is a not so stock Miata, but at the same time, pretty much stock Miata with a mega sport. So there is a little bit of tunability in there that Rob's kind of dicked with over a little bit of time. Chris is dicked with a little bit. Mm -hmm. And if you actually want it to run right and perfect, then I'll dick with it. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure that I'm ready for that kind of commitment. Yet. That's a lot of commitment. So, all right, guys, let's see how it goes. about 68, 6900 RPMs. guys we just got done with the dyno and in a rounding up scenario she made 120 horsepower so that's a basic stock 1.6 motor with a couple little add-ons like intake and header 85. and so forth and yes yes mega squirt with e85 and it made 120 horsepower for reference my car on the same dyno made 108 107, 107. it did it made 107 i was giving myself the uh, miata roundup so <laughs> That's a pretty good amount of, of extra power that you're getting out of the, the tune and the mega squirt. It's kind of interesting because on track, it is definitely palpable the amount of difference between the two cars. What would you say, Rob? Well, especially in that range, like 4,000 to 6,000 right in there is where you can see everything splits and my car pulls away a little bit on the straight. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you can see in the dyno sheet here, it's definitely a huge jump that we're seeing in that range so definitely something that if you're looking for a quick and easy upgrade i mean mega squirt makes it pretty easy just to dump it on and get some extra power out of it so it's been proven <laughs> 